Hi friends, welcome to Mindful Cooking at Kita's Kitchen. The process of making sabudana fryams and rice fryams is one of those experiences where I was instantly transported to my childhood home in India. I could feel the presence of my parents, I could see our neighbors, I could smell the beautiful flavors coming from the kitchen. The situation where you were who you were with, what the occasion was, adds the most power to our nostalgic taste memories. Let's make sabudana fryams first. For that, soak 2 cups of sabudana overnight. The next day morning, drain the sabudana and add double the quantity of water. Cook it in medium heat. Keep stirring to avoid sticking to the bottom of the vessel. Add a sephoitida, crushed green chilies and salt. Now you can see the sabudana is cooked. Note the consistency. Let it cool for an hour so you can see how the consistency changed. In this batch, I decided to grind the sabudana and I took a little batter and added color to it. I used the cooked and grinded um, beetroot for the color and red chili powder. Now you can start making fryams. We used a very thin plastic sheet. My husband is helping me make the papadams. Dry it in full sun for two days. At the end of the first day, you try flipping the uh, fryams from the sheet or cloth, whatever you used. So you can see I'm flipping the fryams. And you can see in some of the fryams I used sesame seeds, cumin, um, asafoetida, green chilies and some of the fryams I just like put uh, red chilies and just a sphoitida so it you can change the flavors like that and uh, you need at least two days of full sun to dry the uh, fryams now the fryams are all dried you can start using it you can either like a deep fry you can see I'm frying the um, the fryams, sabudana fryams, and you can see there are two colors. The white one, uh, I actually didn't add any sesame seed or um, cumin seeds. In the pink one, I added jeera or cumin seeds and sesame seed. So you can like mix and match. And I, I got 100 papadams from two cups of sabudana. Now let's make rice fryams. For rice fryams, I used one cup of raw rice and one cup of boiled rice. Soak the rice overnight and grind it in the morning. And we need one cup of sabudana also. So soak the sabudana overnight and cook it in the morning. And add the cooked sabudana to the grinded rice uh, batter. Cook the batter in medium heat. Keep stirring to avoid sticking to the bottom of the vessel. Add a sephoitida and salt water. Now you can see the consistency of the batter changes. You can add cumin seeds, sesame seeds and red chili flakes instead of red chili flakes you can add red chili powder also or crushed green chilies let the batter cool for an hour at least then put it in the muruku maker and make fryams again my husband is helping me so this is actually on top of our sun room my husband made a frame to cover the fryams. 
this is very helpful it protects the frames from dust squirrels insects birds flies etc you can use a baking tray to make uh, uh, frames but cover the baking tray with uh, aluminium foil and after you make the frames you cover that with cling wrap to protect from dust rice frames are ready to use you can deep fry them or microwave it or you use a air fryer to air fry the frames this is a very healthy and tasty snack um, you can make it and store it in airtight containers for several months this summer with the beaming sunlight in california and the entire family being indoors due to quarantine we decided to make our own frames from scratch so i just put some more experiments like with different type of rice i made rice frames and um, different types of sabudana papadam i made like without grinding with i made sabudana papadam without grinding but the papadam was like little thicker you can see the uh, papadam came out little thicker Sabudana is derived from the extracts of the plant roots and has many health benefits. It contains a good amount of dietary fiber that also helps to rebalance the healthy gut bacteria. It keeps your blood pressure low and controlled. It contains a decent amount of potassium that helps to keep your BP in check. These plant starch pearls processed from tapioca roots um, is gluten free and non allergic. Anybody and everybody can have sabudana as it does not cause any allergy. Sabudana is high in calcium, magnesium and iron which helps to make your bones strong and improve their density too. This miracle food helps in lowering the risk of arthritis. Hope you enjoyed the process of making uh, sabudana frames and rice frames. Um, please try the recipe. Try to include the whole family in this process. Um, it's a teamwork. So make this as a family activity. Please remember to like the video and try the recipe, leave comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please take care and